David Green, the Global Artistic Manager for Oster Professional Products. I'm going to share with you a couple of quick tips about blades on the Classic 76 right here. Every time you go to put a blade on the 76, I advise you to keep the tool running. Turn the machine on when you're going to snap a blade on. Get your blade, coming through here, and this little slot right here, this little guy right there, that's what's going to go into this hinge right here when you put it on. Coming through here, put it in place like this, slap it down just like that. And the reason you want to do that is this lever right here that moves back and forth, it will always stop in a different place. It never stops in the same place twice. It moves back and forth. If it is not properly lined up, with this slot right underneath here on the moving blade, when you put it on, it may fall in very hard. Once it falls in very hard, you may round out the corners of this little lever right in through here, which will make your blades get loose as you're using them and have a slight wobble. When you have a slight wobble, that is actually going to pull hair on your clients, and a lot of people think it's because their blade is dull, when really all they've done is rounded out that little lever right in through there. Prevent that from happening, keep it running when you snap a blade on. It's not gonna cut your fingers, just simply turn it on, put your blade in place, drop it on. In the middle of a haircut, you wanna change blades, put your finger right over it while it's running, take it off, set it down, grab your other blade, put it on, snap it in place, just like that. Super easy, super quick. Little tips on what to do with blades on the 76.